Hello everybody, my name is Luchara, and this is Tavern Master. New game just came out on Steam, and guess what? You run a tavern in it. I know, shocking. Let's go, let's jump into it. Start a new game, current progress will be lost. Yeah, I just started the game for like two seconds just to see what it was all about. But I figured we'd do it together, so I haven't really played it. So I'm going in pretty much blind here. Welcome to your tavern. You'll be in charge of managing and growing your business. Okay. Take a look around. Move the camera by dragging while holding down the scroll wheel. Or by using WASD. Okay, great job. You can also rotate the camera by holding your right mouse button and moving the mouse around. Beautiful. Okay. Tavern doesn't look like a tavern at all. One wall is missing. <laughs> there are no doors and no windows. Well, ta the taverns I go to are always missing walls. The no door thing is a problem, though. I'll admit that. So let's fix that. Now let's hit the hammer here. And then... Put some walls up there, $50 a piece, that's fine. Just drag them across, okay, boom, done. We will need a door so customers come in. All right, let's put a door right here. Seems like a good place. And let's add a window as well. All right, boom, great job. Let's now buy some tables and benches, okay? Where do we do that? Oh, it looks like we gotta back out, okay. We only have one table in our tab right now. That won't be enough, so let's buy one more by clicking on the dining room button below, okay? Simple table for four, small table for two, or strong table for four. That strong table is quite a bit more expensive. And I think we're pretty poor right now. So we rotate with Z and Z and X. In theory, it's not letting me actually rotate it. I'm assuming you can rotate with those buttons though. All right, so let's put a couple simple benches down here. Boom and boom. See exactly how well your tavern is lit. You can click on this checkbox to show lights. Okay. So where are the lights coming from? Lights, candle. On the wall. Oh, there must be candle over on the wall here. Oh, I can see the candle here on the wall. Okay. Great job. Now that we have enough seats for our guests, next stop would be to buy beer to serve. That makes sense. All right, so let's back out. To buy the beer, we should go to the bar first. Click on the bar to open the menu. Okay. So beer barrels, lemonade, wine, ale, milk, cider, mead. Okay, let's do a beer barrel. We currently only have water to serve. That's not good. That's not much of a tavern if we're only serving water. Let's buy a bar another barrel to store the beer. Okay. To serve the beer, we first have to fill the barrel. Click the fill bar to continue. Okay, so max refill for 150 gold. How much money do we have left? 380, all right. We're not quite broke yet. We're getting there though. Okay, so back out of that. Great job. We now have a place for people to sit on. We have drinks to serve. Final thing missing is to hire staff, okay. So we click on the staff pop-up, okay. Let's get one bartender. All right, every day you'll get new candidates for hiring. Pick one of these four by clicking the hire button. Okay, so they all have the same salary of five. Okay, so it says they carry three drinks, but it also says you can carry eight drinks. So I'm not sure. <laughs> same with this one. This one gains experience two times faster. Mood decreases 20% slower every day. I assume that's a good thing. Um... So drink pouring, you want a low score. So this one's a little worse. Carry five drinks naturally, but these can apparently carry eight drinks. So that's irrelevant. Speed, they all have, oh, well, this one's a little slower. Yeah. Well, he's a little faster when carrying, but that's more of a waitress thing, right? Drink pouring is all that really matters here. And this one's slower, even though I like the experience faster. All right, let's hire Warden. Mood decreases slower. That sounds like a good thing. How many waitresses do we need? You should hire a waitress now and we are done. So five drinks, five drinks, five drinks, four drinks. Mood decreases slower. Get one tip for every drink served. That seems good. Track seven more customers every day. That also seems good. So carrying speed really would matter here. They all... Oh, this one's a little slower. This one's a little slower. I like the more customers one, I think. She climbs stairs slowly, but I don't even have any stairs. But I'm assuming I'm going to put in stairs at some point. Eh, Nancy, you're hired. 
Welcome aboard. So I could hire another one if I wanted, but the tutorial does not want me to right now. We prepared everything needed for the guests to start coming in. Before we unpause the time, let's see how you can unlock new stuff for the tavern. Click the research button. Upgrades are researched by serving different types of guests, and you can see the cost of research on the left side of it. For kitchen, we need to serve 25 common guests. Okay. So our only option right now is to research the kitchen, so click on the research button to start. After kitchen is finished, three more upgrades will be available for research, which is lemonade, plus seven guests per day, and musicians. Okay. So yeah, 25 common. Okay, so rare are orange, gold are gold, and royal are purple. So we only need common guests for everything so far. Eventually, we'll start needing fancier stuff. Oh, wow, that's a bigger tech tree than I thought. Oh, yeah, so we get a new floor here. We get a new floor here. We get a new floor earlier. Yeah, we do get a new floor earlier. Because my Nancy does not climb stairs well. Nancy doesn't do stairs. So we'll have to hire some additional waitresses once we get more floors. Number of guests per day tells you how many people will come in your tavern on average every day. Buy decorations and upgrade your tavern to increase that number. Okay. We are all set and our tavern can be opened. Click the play button to resume the game and wait for customers to come in. My final tip to you is that you watch out if there's enough space to sit. If all the seats are taken, buy more tables and benches. Good luck. Well, that makes sense. All right, so what's this? This is our information. Oh, quests. Own four tables. Own eight benches. Change the tavern name by clicking the sign inside of the tavern. Finish any research. Okay. Oh, yeah, everybody's kind of talking here. Oh, how do we change? Here we go. Let's change... Uh, let's change it to Luch's Pub. Or, or just Luch's, apparently. <laughs> That's what we're going to go with. Alright, so, we're going to pause it by hitting spacebar. We are going to turn down the sound effects, because I'm getting sick of listening to everybody blab as they drink. And I'm sure you are as well. And then we're going to put in some more tables. We do not have enough for the good table, so it's going to have to be a simple table for four. We put it here, the bench would go there, and then there's no space between them, so I'd say probably here. And here, right? Do we have enough money? No, no, I'm not. I'm going to run out of money. <laughs> Alright, well, at least got one extra table in, right? This one needs is going to need some benches. But that's fine. Oh, he's upset because we had no benches. We got seats now, man. Come on back. Come back. Come back, Friar Tuck. Or he's got a Friar Tuck hairdo anyway. All right, good job, Nancy. Okay. Hey, why are you drinking water? Drink, drink beer. Beer's better. All right, so we don't have a lot of money coming in. Oh, people are going to start getting cranky again. Because we're full up. Oh, yeah, we only get like $2 per beer. It's going to be a while before we can buy a bench. Let's speed up time a little bit here. So what were these quests again? Because getting 100 bucks would be nice. Okay, so we did this one, did this one. Yeah, so we need to do these two will get us to nine. That is almost enough. So do we get new quests every day, I wonder? Okay, you probably should start cleaning up the full mugs there, Nancy. <laughs> All right, so we got enough for a couple of benches. Boom, which will get us another quest done, I believe. Yep. So yeah, we need to finish any research. We need 25 guests for that, right? And we've had... Or 21. Oh, we needed 25. It's down to 21. Wait. No, it must have been more than that to start. Because we've had more than four guests. Right? Oh, all the tables are full. Should I hire another waitress? How much do they get paid? So Nancy. Oh, Nancy's almost leveled up. I should probably pause it before I do that. So let's put the pause on. And if you're enjoying this game and you want to see more of it, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and leave a comment. Say more Tavern Master Looch. Um, so who's out there? Okay, so it's still Nancy. Or still the same as before. Oh, except, wait. Were these all level 2 earlier? Ooh, this one can carry 7 drinks. She doesn't move slow when she's not carrying, but she moves fast when she is carrying. But she costs 12. Nancy's not level 2 though, is she? I thought she was level one. So is that 12 per day? I assume. 
Seven drinks is a lot. And that's a pretty high carrying speed. Madeline, you're hired. Yeah, that's, I think that'll be okay. Help clean up all these full mugs. <laughs> Nobody's, like, if, if they leave, nobody knew is going to want to come in and sit, <laughs> sit there with all the mugs, right? All right, so decorations are too expensive. So we will come back to that once we have some more money. All right, and uh, can I, could I squeeze more seats in? Like maybe in this corner, just a small table? Can I move my my uh, existing stuff? Like, if I move these benches, both these benches, or tables and benches over one, I can move these over one as well, right? And that would probably free up space. Can I move stuff? Yes. Okay, and let's move this one over like that. It's funny, all the mugs are just sitting on the floor now. So we should be able to fit at least a small one there, right? Which we don't have the money for right now, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, I shouldn't have done that while the people were sitting in it. They got upset. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Come back. Okay, well, lesson learned. So if you want to try to play this game yourself, do not move tables while people are sitting at them. I guess that there's a logic there. Because if in real life, if I was sitting at a, a bar, a tavern... And somebody came and <laughs> moved the table I was sitting at. I would probably not be pleased. Let's be honest. But what's more important right now? More seats or do I want some decorations and stuff? All right, okay, so Nancy leveled up. So, how many points do I have here? Oh, so tips is a good thing that they get tips. Oh, and I, I can prioritize things. High priority. Drinks, cleaning, food, room service. So if I, I could have like... All right, let's pause it for a sec. Ooh, kitchen instructions. Oh, I unlocked the kitchen. Congratulations on unlocking the kitchen. Here's $800 bonus. Nice. So you have enough money to build it. Step one, go to the kitchen shop. Step two, buy a kitchen counter, plate shelf, and a crate. Hire a chef. Wait for customers to order food. Okay, so... How do I do this? <laughs> Kitchen. Do I need to build more space? For this? Do people sit at the counter? I'm confused. I'm assuming I need to build walls first, right? But that'll take all my money. Hmm. Plate shelf can go here. Counter can fit here, but that's for the chef, right? That's not for... So what I want to do is I want to clear this wall. All right, so let's put some walls up. Let's make a kitchen back here. Walls are only 50 bucks. That's not too bad, right? There we go. And then... Can I get rid of this wall? Yes. If I click there, I bet I can. Okay. Oh, do I got to put a floor in? Yes. Floor texture. Are they all the same? Right? So let's put some fancy checkerboards in my kitchen. Wall texture. Let's go with nice bricks. Bricks in my kitchen. Spin it around. Boom, boom. Okay. All right, now I think I can put the furniture in. I can put the counter right here, I think. Doesn't quite fit. I put it like that. I think it's supposed to go the other way. See the little chef thing, right? I think we pick up stuff like that. All right, so let's try this. We need a plate shelf. That I know. Um, I would assume I need a fireplace grill and all this other stuff, but it's all locked, right? Uh, and a crate. For storage. I assume. That there. 
Now I kind of forget what it said. <laughs> Ooh, I can make cherry cake, apple pie, cherry cake, bread, apple pie, cream rolls, and a fruit bowl. Okay. So oh, this is what they cost. Desserts. I can only make desserts right now. Desserts are colored yellow. Main courses are colored red. Soups are colored green. Okay. That is fine. Now I need to hire a cook, right? Or a chef. I could hire two. So they all cost 12. Um, speed, I assume, is cooking speed. So this one is slower, so we're pretty much not going to take this one. Walking speed doesn't decrease from carrying something. That's good. Prepares two soups at a time. I don't make soups yet, but that seems good, right? I should probably go for this person. Because they have skill for desserts. And that's what I have right now. Although this person has the most skill. I mean, does it really matter if they can't move that fast? Because, I mean, the room isn't very big. Now let's hire, let's hire Sterling. Right, and we got to level up Nancy here. All right, so level up. I got one point remaining. Hmm. Oh, I could pay her more. I cannot make her carry more than five drinks. Let's increase her carrying speed. Sure. And Wharton. Um, let's improve his drink pouring speed. Beautiful. Okay. All right, and let's take it off pause here and see if the kitchen worked. Uh, what do we want to research first? Lemonade, more guests, or musicians? Let's do more guests. Here, we only need 15 people for that. I'm just going to click here again. All right, so go to the kitchen shop, buy a kitchen counter, plate, shelf, and a crate. I did hire chef. Wait, okay, beautiful. I did all that. So let's add another seat here. Just the small table. Where's the big table? Oh, the big table will fit. Yeah, let's try this. And I have enough room for the two seats. Okay, beautiful. We should be good for seating tomorrow because I believe it is now the end of the day. Yes, it is 12 a.m. All right, so this is our report. So we sold 166 worth of drinks. We got 887 bonuses. We did $1,800 purchases, $150 for refills. That's when we bought our beer at the start. We served 30 customers, total seats, 20. Average occupancy was 100. Average action duration, served drinks, took 7.8 seconds. Okay. Angry customers. The target bench got deleted. Yeah. Okay, so everybody that was angry is because I moved the furniture. All right, so let's do one more day. One more day here. Hopefully some people order food today. All right, so what are you what are you ordering? Oh, yeah, food. Here we go. Okay, go to the crate. Oh, yeah, look at all the stuff in my crate. Oh, there we go. Pick up the food. Ooh, $22. Nice. All right, you know what? I'm going to pause it, and while we can, before people start rolling in, I'm going to move these. Right? Actually, that'd be here. Move these before people sit on them. Move these. Now, if I need to, I can fit one more seat there, right? Perfect. All right, so you ordered water, you're ordering drinks and food. Okay. What have we got for quests today? Serve 20 customers, prepare cream rolls 10 times, finish any research, which we did, apparently. We get an extra 100. Oh, that's from yesterday. Oh, I didn't click on it yesterday, so I didn't get new. A new research or new quest today that sucks I have an average of 0 0.05 star for food i'm currently at zero okay so we have empty seats but we don't have any empty tables like are people gonna come in and go oh i don't want to sit with those people and just leave where will they sit wherever right like is everybody in this town friends i guess is what i'm trying to say all right so we got some money i think it's time to buy a decoration Let's buy a barrel with weapons. Gets you 0.7 extra people per day. Wait, a globe gets you more? Well, let's do a globe then. <laughs> right? Can we put it here? No. 
Put it right here. Beautiful. I'll get his extra prestige too. I don't know what prestige does. I'm assuming it just brings in more people, right? So what did you buy? So how are we doing on the cream rolls? Okay, we've sold three of ten. Our average food has not gone up yet. Do I need another waitress? There's a lot of empty mugs here. Oh, yeah, we got research. So we got plus seven guests per day done. So let's get lemonade now. Yeah, I'm thinking... If I do build one more seat, I'm thinking I'm going to need another waitress. And am I going to need another bartender? Can I even hire a bartender? No, I can only have the one bartender anyway. Probably need another bar before I can have another bartender, right? Logically. <laughs> Alright, so the food seems to be coming in at a decent pace. Actually, money's coming in at a decent pace. And we got a quest finish. We served 20 customers, an extra 100 bucks. Get another floor tile coming up. Ooh, a painting at 40. That'll be cool. Alright, so that research is done. So, Alright, so let's start musicians. That's 40 people for that. So, oh, that was a quick day. Holy crap. I guess we're going to do more than one day. So we made... Oh, hey, we... Uh, total income is 500, and that's including the decoration I bought. Nice. So my average occupancy was 80%, so I don't think I need to put in another seat yet. Um, serve drinks time was 6.4. Take food order, 8.3. I Do I need another waitress? I had nobody who left angry. So that's a good sign that I probably don't need another waitress. Um, can I put in a... Whatchamacallit? A lemonade barrel here? Um, no, you gotta click on the bar for that. Ouch, right? Yes. Ooh, I'm gonna have to fill them too. Alright, so let's fill the, fill the lemonade. Um, refill all for 51. Sure. Alright, so those are full. So lemonade sells for more than water, but less than beer. That's fine. Alright, so let's... Uh, do I want to put in a couple more decorations, maybe? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, it's just weird that, like... These things don't give a lot of people per day. Ooh, the armor does, though. Um... Plant's nice and cheap. Let's put a plant in. Can we put it back there? Is that going to get in his way? You can't buy a new prop because some props are overlapping. Okay. Oh, we can't put them on the green floor. We can put it over here, though. That there. Let's get the barrel with weapons. Oh, I don't have enough money. Right, because I just spent a bunch of money refilling all my drinks. All right, start next day. Let's just go normal speed here. Let's kind of pay attention. How many quests did I get done? Level up any employee. Prepare cream rolls 10 times. Own a carpet. Where is carpet? No carpets are here. 100 bucks. So I don't quite have enough, but I will soon. For a carpet. Right? In theory. So I'm getting 60 guests per day. And I can seat, what, 20 at a time? Right now? Maybe I should put another table. Of course, I don't have the money for another table right now. I feel like this this speed is too slow, but this one's too fast. This one's fine, I guess. Just that day seemed to go by really quickly <laughs> compared to the first day, but I guess I had to do a whole bunch of things. So how much space do I have here to build? Well, let me basically do the whole... Oh, yeah, yeah. It'll let me fill in the whole space. And then eventually, of course, we do get extra floors as well, right? So, water, beer, lemonade. They all still look nice and full. When do I have to order this stuff? Oh, yeah. Because I can't right now. So, wow, it would cost me a lot to refill that. But I don't need everything right now. I am getting low on wheat, though. So, let's fill the wheat. All that basically was all my money. So now I'm going to have to watch my money. Which would suck because if I needed to buy another table right now, I could not. Alright, so some people are buying lemonade. Which is good. So lemonade is pretty tasty. I mean, look, I love beer. 
but some days, sometimes they don't want a beer, right? And water is great, but sometimes you want something with a little flavor, right? Lemonade is solid, especially on a hot summer day. Of course, if it's a hot summer day, I'm probably drinking beer. And yeah, I'm going to need another table. I don't quite have enough money. We are going to run out of apples. So basically all I'm using right now is apples and wheat, right? How's our quest coming? So our food is not high quality right now. We're making some cream rolls. I'd like to buy carpet as well. I'd like to level up an employee. Uh, yeah, people are getting close. Sterling's getting really close to leveling up. So that's good. Yeah, our seats are almost all full. How much is it for a table and two benches total? Maybe if you clicked on the right thing, Looch. So, 70 for the table, though I'd like to get... Ooh, a long table. These are expensive. There's a lot of tables. So, table is 70. So, it's 170, which I have. So, let's do it. Let's bring them in. Let's fill, the, fill our seating here. Of course, if I need extra seat, extra space, I can just build more walls, right? Or make... I have all the space, but walls aren't free right they're 50 a pop but i feel like if i'm gonna have this extra table i should probably have an extra waitress so they're all level two so let's pause it while we're in the screen i know I, I i keep expecting it to automatic pause when i go into one of these menus but it doesn't which is fine um all right so let's level sterling up before we do anything um speed first probably yeah. And let's hire Waitress. They can all carry five drinks, except she can carry eight. Okay. She gains experience faster. Her mood decreases slower. How do I improve their mood? I wonder. <laughs> all right. So she, let's see, speed. She's fast when not carrying. She's a little slow when she is carrying. She's good at climbing stairs, but I don't have stairs yet. She's good at climbing stairs as well. Actually, all of them except her go to, go to climbing stairs. Eight drinks seems good. In theory, right? She's slow when not carrying. But I mean, not. It's not that bad, right? Let's hire her. Okay. Cool. That should be a quest done, right? Yes, level up an employee. Nice. That's another quest done. I'd like to get a carpet today. How much were they again? Only 100. That's not bad. So as soon as I get to 100, I'm going to buy a carpet here. Just because I want to get the quest done, right? So that there's one less quest tomorrow. Um, Let's go with this one. How do I place a carpet? Okay, okay, there we go. That was weird. By the door, maybe? Not sure I like the look of that. But hey, it's there. Alright, so there's two more quest points. Arrows, targets, targets. I don't know. I don't know what we want to call those. How are we doing here? Lemonade's starting to... We're selling a lot of lemonade. And what are, how are we doing for stock? Ooh, apples are getting low. What's to, oh, it's, apples are cheap, though. So let's let's fully restock our apples. Just so we don't have to worry about that. We have the money for it, right? So we might as well. Yeah, this extra table is getting used. And I'm glad we got the extra waitress because <laughs> I got a lot of mugs to clean up. I guess they can clean them up at the end of the night, right? And it is getting close to the end of the night. All right, we got research done. So special events. Let's research that, which I'm not sure exactly what that means or what how you how I do musicians. I guess I need to hire musicians. No. All right, so I got multiple people leveled up. Bartender. Uh, carry an extra drink, maybe. Sure. Let's, yeah, let's make him carry an extra drink. Yeah, he looks like. Oh, increase salary or your level up to improve happiness. Okay. So happy, happy. He's okay. She's okay. But we're going to level her up. So that'll make her okay. That'll make her happy. But I'm assuming the more you level, the uh, harder it is to level to 
the longer it takes between levels, right? We might have to increase their salary to make sure their happiness stays up. Um, speed while carrying. Sure. And you. Ooh, let's, we gotta increase her not carrying speed. That's a little too low. A little too low. And that was all of them, right? Everybody's happy. Sterling's not super happy, but he's okay. He's 79% happy. It's good enough for me. Beautiful. So it's 9 p.m. It's almost closing time. Pretty productive day, though, I feel like, overall. We got a, how many quests? We did two quests today. Hopefully we can get cream rolls done soon. But, I mean, two days, I only did five. So I don't know. I don't know if that's going to get done tomorrow. But it is almost closing time. Do I want to stock up? No, I feel like I'm okay. I'll wait. I mean, I could afford to, but... Alright, so we made money, and that was with some, you know, some purchases. But I'm, I'm some, most days, I'm assuming I'm going to be doing purchases, right? But yeah, any angry customers? No. Perfect. That's a good day. That's fun. This is a fun little game. I mean, it's, it's not super complicated, but I'm enjoying it so far. So I'm going to do at least a couple more episodes. But let me know if you're enjoying it. Uh, let me know in the comments if there's anything I missed. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Join my Discord. Consider supporting me on Patreon. Links are in the description down below to both of those. Most importantly, be good to each other. Have a great day. And I'll see you in the next one.